We know that air fryers are great for making crispy things like chips and chicken, but can you make a lovely saucy curry? Let's give it a go. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. Now you guys have been asking for some air fryer recipes, so today we're gonna make a lovely saucy chicken curry in the air fryer. This is the first of our air fryer series, so let's get cooking. So this is a really simple chicken curry, and we're gonna be adding the ingredients in a step at a time. We're gonna be adding them into this, which is a cake barrel. This is an eight inch cake barrel, and this is absolutely key for any saucy recipes that you want to make in your air fryer. So to that cake barrel, we're gonna add a tablespoon of oil, along with two chicken breasts, which is about 350 grams, chopped into bite-sized chunks. We're also gonna add a large onion that's been peeled and chopped into chunky wedges, along with a large red bell pepper that's been chopped into chunky pieces, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Then give everything a stir and place the cake barrel into the air fry basket, and place the air fry basket into the air fryer. Now we're going to cook that at 190C or 375F for about 10 minutes, shaking it once halfway through cooking. Now of course it's a little bit different from the normal way that you would cook curry, in that we're not marinating the chicken, anything like that, but we are getting some extra flavour in there because those peppers and onions and the chicken will be a little bit charred and that'll add a lovely extra bit of flavour. Now we're going to add in two heaped tablespoons of curry paste. I'm using a bolty paste, which is a medium spice paste. If you prefer not to use curry paste and you want to use spices instead, I'll leave some instructions in the description below. We're also going to add in two cloves of minced garlic and two teaspoons of minced ginger. good stir together so the chicken and vegetables are coated in the curry paste. Now we're going to put that on for another two minutes. Next in goes a crumbled chicken stock cube, two tablespoons of tomato puree or paste if you're in the US, 300ml which is about 10 and a half ounces of passata, and 300 ml, which is about 10 and a half ounces of full fat coconut milk. Give it a stir together again until thoroughly combined. So that goes back into the air fryer for a final 10 minutes until the sauce is piping hot and the chicken is cooked through. I love to serve this curry with lots of lovely fluffy boiled rice and topped with fresh coriander. So that's my easy air fryer chicken curry. So it is possible to make a lovely saucy curry in the air fryer, still with bags of flavour. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see some more air fryer recipes. See you next time. So what's my honest feedback on making an air fryer curry? Well, I've got to say, it's not going to replace my regular Friday night curry. There's not quite as much love got into it. However, if you want to save time and you're also looking to save a little bit of money by using your air fryer to cook the curry, then I think this makes a really great alternative. Also, those peppers and onions that have been charred in the air fryer add a whole extra new dimension, which I really like. <laughs>